It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking rational or irrational as we consider this number value. So here's our question today. As you consider this number value, you're asked which of the following statements about this number is true, and you're given four statements. So I'd like you to pause the video now, consider each of the statements, pick the one that is true, and come back and hit play to check your work. Welcome back. So as we consider this number, and our four statements. We wanna know which one of the statements is true. So I look at each statement and I see that the first one is about an integer, a whole number, a rational number, and then an irrational number. And all four of these statements say, because the decimal repeats. So we know that that's a fact. We have a repeating decimal here. This is 4.0838383. So this little line hat above these two numbers is called vinculum and it means that the 8.3 is going to continue to repeat infinitely. So we have to talk about integers, whole numbers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers to determine which of these statements is true. So let's start with an integer. So an integer are the numbers negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 it extends infinitely to the right and infinitely to the left. So no decimals, no fractions, it's our whole numbers and their opposites. So we know that this cannot be an integer value because it's a decimal. Now when we talk about our whole numbers, our whole numbers are part of the integer family. It is our zero and our positive counting numbers, zero, one, two, three, extending infinitely only to the right. So all of these whole numbers are also integers, but a whole number, it cannot be a decimal. So we know that we can rule out answer choice B as well. So that leaves us C and D talking about rational and irrational numbers. So let's start with rational. Rational numbers are also our integers and our whole numbers. So if we look at our whole numbers, whole numbers are whole, they're integers, and they're also rational numbers. Now, I only gave you three examples of a rational number, negative one half. So anything that can be written as a fraction is a rational number, 0 0.3 repeating, so any repeating decimal or terminating decimal is rational. So we know that we have irrational then to compare it to. Irrational, the best example is pi or any non-perfect square root. We know that pi goes does not terminate, so it's non-terminating, but it's also non-repeating. That's the big difference with irrational. So when we talk about an irrational number, it's any value that cannot be written as a fraction, and it cannot be written as a fraction because it's non-terminating and non-repeating. So we know that this is not an irrational number because we have a repeating decimal pattern here. So let's rule out answer choice D, but let's talk about this rational number a little bit more to be able to say why it is. So it does repeat, so that automatically tells us it's a repeating decimal. So rational numbers are also, by definition, any value that can be written as a fraction. Now, even though this looks a little wonky, it can be written as a fraction, and here's what it would look like. 4 and 83 over 990. And there is a fun algebraic way to write any repeating decimal as a fraction. I'll put that video right up here so that you can link if you want to see how to do that. But any number that can be written as a fraction is a rational number, so any terminating decimal is rational, and any repeating patterned decimal is a rational number. So there we have it, our answer choice here, because the decimal repeats, it is a rational number. So I thank you for joining me today to talk about rational and irrational numbers. And I hope you'll come back soon to the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.